Welcome back. Super excited in this lesson, before we actually get into the course itself and learn all of the rest of the sections, just quickly would like to demonstrate how easy it is to really hack. And hackers use among several methods and techniques, one of them being a keylogger. So a keylogger is simply a way to spy on someone else's computer. In other words, it's basically gain access to important information, data, but more specifically, it's to gain access to password, credit card, social security numbers, date of birth, and any other confidential information that the user or the attacker is looking for. What a key logger does, it simply records every keystroke made on that particular computer. So behind this particular presentation, you can see the actual code, and I'm gonna demonstrate this, by the way, shortly, just so you can actually see the keylogger in action. How does it work? The couple of big names out there for keylogger, and these are recent, by the way. One is Metamorpho, which targets payment card data and credentials at financial institutions with Windows platform. And this is pretty popular. The attack was pretty popular in the South American country. So what this does is once the keylogger is executed, the malware then kills the auto-suggest entries in the browsers, right? Just like when you open up Google browser and you like to type something to search and it gives you a populated or drop-down list, auto-suggests, it basically kills that. Forces the victims to write out their password, which it then tracks using a keylogger program. The second example is quite recent amid the COVID-19 pandemic. There's a new variant called the Hawkeye keylogging malware. In simpler terms, what it does is you get an email from a doctor from the World Health Organization, for example, about the COVID-19 detail. Everyone is looking to see when the new vaccine is coming out, right? Everyone is waiting to hear that breaking news. Well, that's exactly a good way for bad actor to disguise this key logger and place it on your computer. Once you open this email, you won't even know. And sometimes even just browsing a website that is insecure could potentially download the key logging software. So with that out of the way, let me minimize this. Quickly gonna demonstrate this particular program. This program is by the way free to use. The purpose of this lecture is to just simply give you a demo, okay? Of course, we're not gonna go into writing the details or the programming, but just so that you get the picture of how easy it is. And I've gotten this code, by the way, from GitHub, and I'm going to provide this software, this program as a downloadable resource and also show you on GitHub how easy it is that you can actually fork this free program and then use it for your own grade. So here is a simple keylogger.cpp file. And you'll notice there's a on line 11, max equals 100. What this means is maximum number of keys to record. I could change it to 1,000 or 10 or whatever number, okay? In other words, once I run this program, it's going to start recording all of the keystrokes on my Windows keyboard and then later on show me all of the recorded keys into a text file. Great. So before I execute this program, notice at this point there's no text file associated with Keylogger. So once I run this program and automatically a text file will be created that is going to hold all of the information that I type on the keyboard. So let's go ahead and execute this. So now the program is actually running. And what I did was I did the Control, Alt, and N as a none on my keyboard to simply execute the program. So notice nothing happens, right? So it's just nothing happens. I can work, I can continue to work wherever I wanna be. I can open up, let's say, the notepad or Word document or go to a website or do anything, okay? However, recall that the program is actually running until I close the program. So right here on the bottom, you'll see it's running the key log. So if I were to type, let's say as a password, or hello world, or anything that I would like to type, okay? And then if I minimize this, notice nothing happens, nothing is visible to the end user. So let me go ahead and close this program or stop this program. So Control, Alt, and M. And what this is do is gonna exit the program. And on the left navigation pane in the Explorer, you'll notice there's a log.txt file. As soon as I click on this, guess what? Here's the word password that I type. Here's the word hello. And then I entered world, enter, right? And then of course I use the alt shift 
10, right? So all of these keys, any keystroke that I've actually been using, as soon as I run the program, are now being recorded, and the attacker can easily get hold of this information by just using this particular key logger program. There it is. So I just wanted to quickly show you the demo of how easy it is to use the key logger and pretty much all of the code is out there. So attackers are constantly using these methodologies even though this is just a simple demo that I've just you know shown you. So before I end quickly, like I promised, I'd like to navigate to the GitHub page. So if you need to download the code, for this particular keylogger, just go to getup.com forward slash R-A-Z-A PhD. That's my repository. Go to repositories once you're on this page. And then you can simply search for keylogger and you will see the basic dash keylogger. Click on this and from here you can download the code as a zip file. Or you can clone the repository or you can fork as well. So it's up to you. Again, this is a free code. If I click on license, for example, You'll notice that permission is hereby granted free of charge. Any person obtaining a copy of this software and associated documentation file deal in the software without any restriction, including without limitation the rights to use, copy, modify, and so on, right? So just wanted to give you the heads up on Keylogger. Great. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, post in the discussion area. With this, let's move to the next lesson.